History has been made with a train travelling under Sydney Harbour. While it was slow going below the water today, eventually driverless metros will race through the tunnel at more than 100 kilometres an hour. In the early hours of the morning, the first train to pass underneath Sydney Harbour. History being made really under our feet in the new tunnels, under the harbour for the very first time. 91 years since the first steam train travelled over it. It's the first train over the bridge. Today, the metro crept just as carefully. Slow speed, taking it very carefully, very controlled. Starting at Chatswood. Yeah, we're looking for authority to enter the tunnel at Chatswood, over. On board, a team of engineers. Checks included whether the train actually fits through the tunnel. Descending 25 metres to Crow's Nest Station, 30 metres at Victoria Cross Station. The train then travelled into history 40 metres below sea level before heading up to Barangaroo. This first journey taking four hours. It will get quicker. You'll be able to get from here at Chatswood uh, into Central in just 15 minutes. The Metro extension runs from Chatswood to Sydenham, connecting Metro Northwest and eventually the new Metro Southwest conversion to Bankstown, subject to a government review into cost blowouts. It's the people of New South Wales' money. We need to make sure that they know how it's being spent regardless of where these projects are up to. During testing, bags of water will be placed on the train to replicate the weight of full carriages. Passengers won't get their turn on City Metro until sometime next year. I like the speed. Yes, I don't mind. Yeah, fast trains. Next, they'll be tested through tight curves under the city before the newest Metro is ready to go. Chris Ma, 7 News.